What's going on at Chalky and welcome back to two weekly episode 8 and just before I jump into the episode just to make you aware of Anarchy Vapes on Welbeck Road it's 370 get yourself down for some cracking deals it's run by my dad and his partner and I'll let him speak right now Welcome along to Anarchy Vapes so we are here we are on Welbeck Road in Newcastle if you guys vape Keep following James' channel also, we'll get along here to Anarchy Vips and check us out. We're here to please. So that was just me dad's business in Newcastle, go and check him out, it's 370 Welbeck Road, Anarchy Vips, some of the cheapest vapes in town, and uh, speak to me dad and he'll uh, happily help you along the way to try and get some cheaper deals, and uh, also check it out at Anarchy Vips online as well. So anyway, we're going to get into the main news, so we're going to be talking about the Bradford game, looking up to this week. So the third game of pre-season was away to Bradford where we won by four goals to nil and Jacob Murphy, our new centre from Norwich, got two with Mitrich scoring in between. So what a fantastic result that was for Rafa and the team and it was a game I was at so if you haven't been to the game, uh, I was there for the match day experience so go and have a look, it was a fantastic night and uh, one I'll remember for a long time. And uh, it was just a good all-round performance by the lads from start to finish, we dominated Bradford and Bradford being a League One club, you'd expect them to start a lot faster than us because we are obviously a week behind. And um, it was good to see some more of the new players like Lejeune looking very comfortable on the ball. And again, Murphy, who I touched upon as well, fantastic. And then after that, a couple of days later on the Friday, uh, we signed a player called Miguel Moreno from Borussia Dortmund. He's a Spanish under 21 international where he made nine appearances for Borussia Dortmund last season. And uh, he's a centre midfielder and uh, he kind of boosts our midfield, gives him more, more flair going into that midfield uh, a bit more uh, know-how and it's someone we can work with even though he's only made nine appearances I'm not going to read too much into that and uh, again he's looking like a promising player from what I've seen up to now and uh, hopefully Robert Benitez can keep training him and he can learn more as he progresses in his Newcastle career for the season long loan he's at in Newcastle so again it's a season long loan but it's a player that we can work with so anyway moving on to that Newcastle United flew out to Germany as we're saying Bigel Marino on the Friday afternoon and we played Mines 05 on the Saturday where Newcastle had lost by two goals to one. Newcastle didn't get off to the best of starts. Uh, Mines took the lead uh, after four minutes, it's not the best of starts. Uh, mistake by Paul Dummett and it could be argued that Lejean was a fault as well. Uh, Newcastle were 1-0 down and then going into the second half, Newcastle pulled it back uh, for a lucky goal by Jesus Gamez, got the all count in the end and uh, after that uh, Mainz took the, took the lead later on into the game after 84 minutes and they were 2-1 up and again it was simple man marking and creating opportunities we didn't really have that many opportunities against Mainz and uh, that was very disappointing knowing the fact we'd only beaten Bradford 2-0 but I'm not going to read too much into it because it's only pre-season and uh, Rafa can work work with the uh, players for the summer uh, moving forward so then after that after the 2-1 defeat Newcastle brushed themselves down they were training throughout in Germany and uh, our final pre-season game was yesterday against Wolfsburg in Germany and we won by four goals to nil. Uh, Newcastle were fantastic from start to finish. Uh, they learned from the Mainz game where I said in the previous video that they need to take their chances, they need to take their opportunities and they did that. Mitrovic was fantastic in the first half and Newcastle just continued to boss the game throughout in the second half. And uh, again, I'm not going to read too much into it. You know, Wolfsburg, they, they were okay. I mean, despite losing 3-1, Newcastle could have won more. They could have, you know, they could easily have won by four or five, and uh, it's good to know that the, the players are starting to gel. Murphy looked really good when he came on in the second half, and uh, again, the, the team's looking promising. Despite not signing many players, Rafa would like to get more in, but I think I'm happy with the five players that we've got up to now. But obviously, to be even happier, we need more players in, so maybe a couple more, maybe a striker, a centre mid, maybe a goalkeeper. I'm sure that's what Rafa's uh, looking at, and uh, again. We're just going to have to uh, wait and see what happens on that one. So anyway, moving on. So it's been announced that the tickets for the Tottenham Hotspur game, which is our first Premier League game uh, a week from now, uh, is now sold out. So you can't go to the game if you haven't got a ticket. And uh, But if you want to go to the Hells for Runner game, which is this Sunday, uh, tickets are still available at £10 plus £1 booking free. And uh, also, if you don't get tickets on... From this week onwards, if you get them on the day, you're paying fifty pounds, uh, one pound booking fee. So it's best just to get them now and see if you still have fiber. And uh, there's still loads of tickets to, to buy, and hopefully it's going to be a good game. And we'll be vlogging it. So if you want to check out the vlog, uh, again, it'll be on this channel 100% NUFC. And uh, again, it, it's 
it's it's been it's been a long week. There's, a lot has happened, but you know we've managed to get a signing through the door. We've won a we've lost a game, but we've won a couple over pre-season. So we're not doing too bad. But the team seem to gel really really well, and uh, hopefully Rafa Benitez can keep instilling that good confidence uh, in the team, and we can take that into the Hellsville run again this Sunday at St James's Park, which is a free kick kickoff, and. Uh, just think if I remembered anything else. As far as I know, I think that is the news up to now. Not much has really happened. It's been really, really quiet on the uh, news front. Uh, Newcastle under twenty threes beat Ashton uh, a couple of days ago as well, so that's good for the under twenty threes. Um, I do dedicate this channel to the under twenty threes as well, so it's something different for you guys to watch. It. Not just looking at the first team, but looking at the wider picture. And also the Newcastle women as well have, have, have been launched as well, so that, that's just come out as well. And uh, injury news. So Dion Dee Edlin is going to be missing as well for the next couple of weeks uh, through injury, so he won't be starting against Hellsborough or Tottenham, but we do wish him a speedy recovery. He was looking really good towards the end of last season. He had a fantastic season, over, season overall, and I was looking to see him in the, in the Premiership, but again, he'll be back when he's back. And uh, this is just an episode where you can get your questions in, so if you've got any questions that you want to put down in the comments for the next one, which will be two weekly episode nine, which will be coming out next week, it's a weekly thing. Um, if I haven't really explained it properly, two weekly is basically where what I've just done now, I'll explain the news and then I'll read out all your questions, it'll be a chance to give your channel a shout out as well and uh, it's a promotion for you guys as well and it's all about getting news involved into the channel and uh, just all the, all the daily news, weekly news will all be crammed into one and it's keeping you guys up to date around the world for wherever you're watching and again it's um, it's been a lot quieter um, than previous weeks but hopefully uh, We'll, we'll do sign a few more players, but again, get your questions in down below. It can be anything from players coming in, players leaving the club, club news, just pre-season, anything. Just get your, get your comments, get your questions and comments in down below, and uh, I'd be really appreciate for that. And again, that's what I want for the channel, just getting news involved and all that, all that kind of stuff. So again, it's just been a short two weekly episode nine. Uh, don't forget, I'll be, back, be well. I will be back on Saturday afternoon for your Hellas Verona match preview. That'll be coming up where I just discussed the game and looking forward to the game on Sunday. And uh, again, if you haven't uh, seen any of the content on this channel, there's loads of content. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to 100% NUFC. And also don't forget to uh, follow me on social media as I'm on Twitter and Instagram. And uh, again, thank you very much for watching. It's been Shortly Speaking. I'll see you all later. Peace out.